All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be doing another product review. Surprise, surprise. So we're gonna be revisiting a Haircraft company. Last time we took a look at the rebrand of their hair clay. Today, they're about to release a new product or they've released, I'm not too uh, like a thousand percent sure, but it's gonna be in the market pretty soon. But we got hair paste. So we're gonna be doing the usual. We're gonna take a look at the design of the jar application process, my initial thoughts on it, and then finally we'll just see how it lasts throughout the day and then my overall like impressions on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the jar. Taking a look at the design of the jar, we see that the hair paste falls in line with the rest of the Haircraft Company product line. We get a two ounce plastic container with labeling or sticker labeling on top and along the sides. Right here we see that it's just a little bit of description of the product itself, ingredients, and then finally, the directions of the actual usage of the product. Opening up the jar, it's a twist off lid. You'll see that the actual product itself, it's very reminiscent of, hmm, I'd compare it to like Gatsby or just like other very common paste. It's almost like putty-like. So definitely on the lines of what a paste usually is. So that's a good, good starting point. So let's go ahead and do application process and we'll see what we can get. So opening a jar, you're gonna get a scent of like a very masculine kind of cologne kind of scent. The actual description of the scent itself is Boss from Hugo Boss. So nothing too crazy overpowering, but definitely not on the subtle side. It's definitely something that you recognize once you open the jar and put it on your hair. So let's go ahead and get to application. Scooping it out, as you guys saw earlier, fairly easy. We're gonna be using about that much. I don't even know how to describe that much, but about a quarter size. We'll see if we need more in a little bit. But right now, I think that should do. So it goes on fairly smooth. Not too much tugging. I believe there's a good amount of oils in there to kind of facilitate that process. And the product itself isn't necessarily like super kind of tacky or sticky. So you won't get that <coughs> pulling and tugging as you would with like a waxier product. All right, so application process itself, it's fairly easy. The product itself is a little bit like oily and kind of wet. So we don't get like a super tacky or kind of dry application where you get a lot of tugging and pulling. With this, I guess like with my experience of a lot of different pastes, it's fairly dry. With the Haircraft Company's hair paste, there's a little bit more like moisture in it. So you don't get that like downside of getting your hair tugged and pulled once you're into that. So we get a medium shine, definitely on the medium hold. What else? I'd say medium on the scent itself. Um, definitely present, but not too overpowering. It's like two or three steps from being a little bit like too much even for me, but this would be good just so that, you know, you're covering up that stink if, if you forget to shower. But with most hair pastes, we see that it's not gonna be a super clean look don't expect that with like most clays, most paste, like a lot of the drier products, you're not gonna get a super slick look. With this, because it does incorporate a little bit more oils in it, we do get like a little bit of like that little wet kind of look, but not to the degree that I'd say like an oil-based pomade for sure. So we're gonna go with that finger comb slick back, fairly loose, a little bit messy, what I do expect is that things will fall out of place, but because the product is not like super dry, I am able to restyle it from just my experience using it so far, but I'll come back and show you guys later on during the day. So let's go ahead and get throughout the day and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up guys. We're approaching hour seven to eight right now. Um, things have dried up a little bit. It does feel a little bit lighter and just fluffier and drier. So a little bit more on the side 
of what an actual paste feels like. The initial oiliness and like, I guess, wetness that we got kind of evaporated and just things have settled in. If you guys take a look, things have shifted out of place here and there. A little bit more strays. Definitely along the lines of what you would expect with a paste. Just a little bit more loose, messier, and just overall more relaxed than <clears throat> any slick style. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> woo, let's go ahead and restyle it and see what we get. So right now, just running through my fingers through the hair, things are pretty dry, but not to the point of like crackliness. Still restylable, things are still movable. You still feel that little bit of essence of oil. It's not too crazy, but I wouldn't necessarily just keep messing with your hair. Things do get more frizzy or just fluffier and just, but I mean, if that's the look you're going for, all props to you. But right now we're just going with the more relaxed slick back and we're still able to achieve that. So two thumbs up on the endurance of this product washability or rinseability you're going to need a shampoo just because there are a little bit more oils in this than like a typical paste not just a rinse if you do rinse you'll get a little bit of buildup for me day two and three a buildup is usually like the best results just because things are settled in and <clears throat> lastly the scent itself i did initially say it's pretty strong Right now, it's very, very subtle. So, there you guys have it. That's gonna be Haircraft Company Hair Paste. Right now, the company itself is doing a little bit of a promotion. Essentially, you guys can try out this product for a dollar. All the information is gonna be down below in the description, but what you guys need to do is sign up for SMS messaging, and then I think create an account with Bubble Pay or just just follow the steps and then you guys can figure it out. But at the end of it, you're gonna be paying a dollar and I think like a couple cents for shipping and you can get a two ounce jar of this hair paste. Just try it out, see if you guys like it or not. But I think it's a good opportunity to just essentially expand your horizons and just get some hair product to try. So that's pretty much it on my end. Let me see if I'm forgetting anything. I think that's it. So, see you guys next time. Peace.